my nephew's Ruhan's new whip private play Ruhan I remember when I had my GTI twin cam tried to crawl a twin cam back in the days day before Eid Eid is going to be tomorrow inshallah I think the first time everyone's going to be doing Eid on a Wednesday and you know what you have to do before Eid day get a haircut get a trim get the car washed so the Eid vlog starts now look how dirty the car looks once it's all washed it's going to look good لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الحمد لله الحمد لله المنعم المحسن الديان ذي الفضل والجود والإحسان ذي الكرم والمغفرة والامتنان الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد শান্তি <laughs> <laughs> আল্লাহ সকলে বলা রাহুক আর আমরা মিস করো আমরা চেয়ারম্যান সাহেব রে এমদাদ ভাই রে তাইন উমরাত আসুন আমরা লাই দোয়া করতা বিশ্ব মুসলিম আলাই দোয়া করতা উদু আর গীতা আপনি কিছু হইলো কাজ কই দর উপলক্ষে শুভেচ্ছা আসসালামু আলাইকুম আজকে আমরা ঈদ আমরা সুন্দর হইছে ইনশাআল্লাহ আমরা সব ইন জিও করছি এনজয় করছি আর আমরা চেয়ারম্যান সাহেব আছেন উমরাত আছেন আমরা লাই দোয়া করেন জানো আর আমরা চাই দুনিয়ার সকল মুসলমান আমরা এক হইয়া ভালো অবস্থায় চলতাম আমি আমি মনে করি সবই আমরা এক হই অবস্থায় থাকতাম থ্যাংক ইউ আসসালাম আলাইকুম আসসালাম আলাইকুম আজকে আমরা পবিত্র এক মাস রমজান মাস সিয়াম সাধনার পরে ঈদর ফিতর পালন করছি আমরা এলাহি মসজিদের উদ্যোগে ডান আল শেফিল্ড তো বিশ্বের সকল মুসলমানদের জানাই আমি ঈদর ফিতর শুভেচ্ছা বিশেষ করে আমরা মসজিদ নতুন একটা আমরা রিফাবলিশমেন্ট করছি আর বার এক্সটেনশন করছি এতে করে আমরা যথেষ্ট এক্সপেন্সও হয়েছে আমি আমার এই আশ্রাফার মাধ্যমে সকলে অনুরোধ করব যেবা দ্বারা এই পর্যন্ত সাহায্য করছেন আপনারা সাহায্যের পক্ষেও সাহায্যের মাধ্যমেও আমরা এই মসজিদ যতটুকু পর্যন্ত আগুইতে পারছি আর আরও যথেষ্ট কাম বাকি রয়েছে আপনারা সবার কাছে আমরা অনুরোধ রইল যে আপনারা দয়া করি আরও আপনারা হাতরে প্রসারিত করবা আরও সাহায্য করবা ইনশাআল্লাহ আমরা মসজিদটা যেভাবে সুন্দর হয়েছে আলহামদুলিল্লাহ আরও সুন্দর হইব আর জামাত খুব সুন্দর হয়েছে দুই জামাত হয়েছে যথেষ্ট মানুষ আমরা এখানে উপস্থিত হয়েছে সকলেও মুসলিম উম্মার লাগে আমরা দোয়া করছি আপনার লাগেও আপনারাও দোয়া করবা আমরাও দোয়া করি আর সকলের পরিশেষে ঈদর শুভেচ্ছা জানাইয়া আমি আমার বক্তব্য শেষ করলাম ঈদ মোবারক আসসালামু আলাইকুম 
Assalamu alaikum uh, from Eid Al Masjid, Eid Mubarak to everybody. Alhamdulillah, uh, with two Jamaat, we've had uh, just under five, six, seven hundred people. Um, we had two Jamaat, one at nine and one at ten. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody, Alhamdulillah, because of with everyone's help, with the community, the community, the locality, different mosques, different towns. We got supported. Alhamdulillah, we spent almost half a million pounds to the masjid for the extension, for the work, everything. So I'd like to thank everybody for all their support, the effort, the donation, everything. Jazakallah khair. Farhat Kuntahu Ibaini. Assalamu alaikum. Eid Mubarak to everybody from on behalf of the Alahi Masjid community. I uh, just want to say thank you for everybody donating, for building a beautiful madras, uh, mosque, and I hope everyone comes to visit us. Please, if you, do, if you get a chance, come in. Have a look and take time to read Namaz in this post. Shahrapur Singh Shahlan, Shab Kisu Amra Member Ola Koi Di Shayn. You know, Ashko Bayan Di Bajin Is Nae. So, I am a Punar Bittyo Ijo Koi Mo. The Amra Jeto Tu Ko Arsa Koi Shayn Nae Chhe Beshi Amra Emerson Do Lagi Khas Koi Si. Aga Mo Ito Koi Ya Da Imo Amna Lagi Lor Tu Aay. Ashko Kisu Kam Roi Si Amra Ni Se. Asha Koi Ramu Di Shakle Amna Lagi Koi Aay. My dearest respectable brothers, sisters, elders, viewers watching, I hope you're well, inshallah. I hope your Ramadan went well, inshallah. First of all, please pray for all the brothers and sisters in Gaza, in Palestine that have been killed, they have been tortured. It's been horrible. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them the highest Jannatul Firdaus. I hope you all have had a good Ramadan. And please much, do much as you can, charity-wise, especially this time. Spend much time with your fam family, with your friends, with your loved ones, and uh, keep safe. Respect everyone, be humble. I know it's Eid day, do your best to enjoy Eid day and don't cause problems and issues with other people and uh, look after yourself inshallah. Asalaamu Alaikum. Okay, we'll go after five seconds, yeah? Asalaamu okay. Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Raza, tell me about your recent experience because I believe you went and did some charity work. Tell me about it. Uh, well, we went to Lebanon, uh, to the borders of Palestine and the borders of Syria to feed the Syrian refugees who have fled the war in Syria, also the Palestinians who have fled from Palestine. Uh, so we went out there, uh, we was there for a week. First day over 1300 families fed, second day over 800 families fed, third day over 1100 families fed, uh, fourth day we did three camps, so it was about 300 or something families fed, and then we did iftar with over 500, uh, orphans, widows, uh, and uh, widowers. So, yeah, and Alhamdulillah, everyone who donated, if it wasn't for the people who donated, we wouldn't have been out there doing anything. So, I'd like to thank everybody who donated. You know, when you were there, uh, obviously, you saw a lot of people that have lost loved ones yeah. parents, yeah. families, yeah. kids. Did you have conversation with people that yeah, actually yeah, lost yeah, yeah. loved so ones? And uh, what were they saying? They're basically, they're, they're thankful, grateful straight away as soon as they see people like us because people don't go there for help. A lot of people don't help them. Uh, so straight away they start crying, they'll come running, the kids, they'll come hug you, uh, you know, because they know you brought them something. Uh, so they, they start hoping it what they have and when they see you coming off that bus uh, into the camps, they know that, you know, um, you brought something for them. And then to be fair, they don't want much, man. Even if you give them a lot, they don't even want it. They just want a little bit and they're happy they'll give you back yeah they'll give you things back they'll feed you with nothing you know what i mean they haven't even got much but they'll try and feed you whatever they have uh but yeah like they, they're always talking you know and kids, the kids another the, thing i wanted to ask you because you're from first world country from england yeah especially when you go to a place in the third world country and you see the lifestyle you see the infrastructure it's totally different. Yeah. How does it make you feel when you go and look at the living conditions there? Does it really hurt you, upset you? How do you feel when yeah, you see of, all this? Of course, it, it hurts you a lot, man. Uh, and it makes you... Because we're privileged here. Yeah, yeah, it makes you grateful for, you know, what you have here. So we think, you know, like, if we, uh, I don't know, if we don't have a job for a, a week or something, we start stressing and, 
or whatnot, but these guys don't have food for weeks or months, you know what I mean? And they're not even stressing. They're just literally just like, they're happy, they're thankful to God constantly. And it's a, it's an eye changer, man. So I want more people to come next time. Inshallah. Inshallah. Uh, Joel, you know, there's a lot of kids messing about, especially on Eid days. You guys brought up in Sheffield. We yeah. guys are brought up Sheffield. We respect each other. We always respect each other. It's so important that everyone gets along because now we are Bangladeshis, Somalians, Arabs, Slovakians. What message do you have to say about respect to all these people, respecting each other? Um, kids nowadays, they don't really have that much respect for the elders. But all I'm saying is just keep it steady, stay safe. And everyone's out in their high performance cars. As you can see, lads are chilling. Um, everyone's gonna obviously break the law somehow today i know that you know it goes without saying but well, just make keep sure it know. nice and safe yeah. and try not to win it and that's uh, all yeah. i'm saying this, this thing doesn't that cost much money that. so where are you going today for eating you just chill at home are you gonna take us for a dessert or anything inshallah when i'm free okay slowly Eid Mubarak. like to film at the cemetery it's just a reminder that life is so short guys people only live to about 70 years max there's a lot of young people that even die at the age of 20 30 and it's a shame because of all revenge vendetta envy and people are so vicious these days heartless these days they just want to take people's lives and it affects all the people around you brothers sisters and i see it all the time just over little gang wars and revenges over little unnecessary things so respect each other try to get along with each other and um, keep away from trouble and have that love because we're all muslims it's awful when i see all these fights anyway May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all the Muslim brothers and sisters that have deceased the highest in the Tulfair, those Amin. This cemetery is completely full, packed, there's no spaces anymore because so many people have died and um, there's not even space for us. We don't even know where we are going to get buried. And um, please, please guys, if you have parents, spend this special day with your parents, make time for them respect your parents look after your parents because it's our duty when parents get old when they get weak when they get frail they can't look after themselves we have to look after them it's our duty because when we were kids when we were babies they used to look after us so please bear that in mind forget about money wealth power is here today it's gone tomorrow it's more about humanity, loving each other, respecting each other, family bonding. Keep your egos aside, your grudges aside. Forgive everyone. Make peace, don't make war. And yeah, that's my message of today's Eid. Asalaamu Alaikum. <laughs>